very good customize this after effect template as you can see in this after effect file i have divided the comp into four different groups the main comp in the main comp you can see the comp which is open here this is the pre-render in the pre-render you can see all the pre-renders like the background the blast in this in this comp the flare the beauty of the butterfly itself and in the replaceable comp you can replace the background the logo and the name of the website now let's replace the logo first go to your logo here go to file import and let's import a file let's import a logo for example if If this is your logo, just drag and drop the logo. Press S to resize the logo. You can see the logo is black, so that's why it's showing black. I will if apply a import. We don't have to do this because the effect is black that's why I'm applying the effects you can see your logo has been replaced in this comp now to change the name of the website just double click your website here this one and you can type your website name try to match the position and the scale of the old website name go to windows align so that you can align in the center let's close the old website name and you can see your website name has been changed now to change the background you can do the same go to file import and you can import any background that's that you like and you can just drag and drop here now let's go to the main comp in the main comp you can see this is the background which is just changed uh, this is the butterfly you can apply a overall color let's make it like if you want to make it overall a golden color just apply a tint effect and it will convert into white and you can apply another tint effect and you can just change the color as you like let's make it and you can see the color has been changed this is the website name we just changed this is the logo we changed before this is the mat of the logo this is the blast effect you can just on and off this blast effect if you don't like this is the flare small flares and this is the faded effect at the end and this is the little bit of blur at the side now to render this comp you can go first let's add an audio file import file if you want to if you have any audio just drag and drop the audio here go to composite go to the composite add to render queue give the video format like quick time and you can just change any fo format like animation or you can just apply apple pro Res. you can choose many options and export the audio press ok give the location where you want to save it and press save and render this is it
hope this tutorial was helpful for any confusion or for any queries you can just mail me and thank you very much for buying this template thank you